All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakathia Hawa, Brakathia Hawa Shai, Brakathia Hawa, Brakathia Hawa Shai, Brakathia Hawa, Brakathia Hawa Shai, Call Hawa Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well with that being said i'm gonna jump straight into this video i don't want to rot this out it'd be edifying as usual i'm gonna go in the uh, raka kwadash and um real quick <laughs> as soon as i turned on my feed i uh you know this popped up in my feed i just did the lesson on um you know the the famine you know famine is a brewing you know we know this we, we're at the door of jacob's trouble but as you can see um off of reuters it says uh from one minute ago uk chicken king says cheap food binge is over and it's a real short video i'm gonna close out the um lesson with it but I, i'm not gonna be long so i, I want to get straight to the scriptures um straight to the point basic milk scriptures but hey they you know they hit the you know they ring home they, they ring true all right and um i'm, I'm a, straight to the point second ezra chapter um six uh, 6 verse 22 2nd Ezra 6 and 22 and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty okay you can read the whole chapter but that that verse is so true and hey, we're at we're these we're we're in these times okay suddenly when you least expect it you're gonna go to the grocery store like a regular old day regular smeggler day you know, to go get some, you know, some whatever, and it's going to be empty. You're going to be, your jaw is going to drop, okay? You know, you're going to see, man. That day is going to overtake you as a thief. Second Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses, all these stores, you know, these big, all these stores, man. You're going to go to Walmart, Costco's, you know, Publix. Pathmark, Sea Town, where, wherever you shopping at, Bravo, you know, it's gonna be empty. And suddenly, and it, 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 sudden in a moment, man, and it can happen any, you know, it, it ain't gonna take long, you know. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay, let's get another one. Um. Um. It's a second Ezra, uh, was this 15? Second Ezra 15 um, and 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, okay, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's the time of Jacob's trouble, a time like never before. And as you can see, it links with second Ezra 6 and 22 because suddenly the sown places shall appear unsown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty okay the love of many is going to wax cold for the lack of bread man okay you see they're going to be invading one another going in home kicking in doors that's just that's just for food man not to mention it's going to be like the purge man they're going to be raping men women children it's going to be nasty they're not going to spare you know and that's just the people I'm not even talking about the stormtroopers, the Gurga troops, because we know they're going to come and the enemy's going to come in as a flood, you know? They're going to be as madmen sparing none, you know? They're not going to regard silver nor gold. That's the stormtroopers, the NATO troops and stuff like that. But the people, too, like we said, it's going to be sedition, uproars of the people, class wars, race wars. It's going to be all manner of hell out there. It's going to get real. And, but Esau Edom wants that chaos, Okay. He, he, he's anticipating it. He's bringing it on. The Hegelian dialect, man. He's bringing it on so he can swoop in and, and, and with that karagma. That's going to be the, 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 the savior, okay? His mark. And if you take that bitch, you're going to be destroyed. But, hey, we're in these times, man. We're, it's drawing nigh. Okay, for it's 18, a 17. The whole chapter, you know it. You, you know it, man. Straight to the 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The modern day sword is a gun, machete, or whatever, man. And and it's going to be, you know, you're going to have these little um groups of people. You can see, you know, like the purge, man. The purge is about to commence. And so, and, and, 
It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? Because you're not going to be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark. So they're going to be kicking in doors of people that had the mark. You gonna be, you can see it happening now. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You know? You can see it. You can see it. You know? You know? You, you ain't going to be able to go into these various grocery stores. You know? You know? We're in these times. Man, uh, Lamentations 4 and 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. So, hey, man, that's the reality of things, man, okay? And you in a better case, man. They come in and they rape you to death and then put you to death. You you might, that might you found mercy with the Lord, okay? That was a horrific judgment, You but that's mercy because the Lord could have ultimately preserved you for them nukes, which is the second death, the lake of fire, intercontinental ballistic missiles, or had you starve to death, have your, your, your body eat itself, or have you uh, cannibalize, eat your children, you know? You know, for for you know, because that the, the to quench the hunger pains, that's the reality of the things that's coming back, man. It happened in the past. It's happened. It's gonna happen again, and you see it because Esau Edom is besieging us, man. The end. He you know he's slowly uh, bringing the squeeze. You know, it says they that be slain. Lamentations four and nine. They that be slain with the sword are better, are better than they that be slain with hunger, famine, because famine is coming. You know, and the, the famine of, of, of hearing the word, too. They're going to lock this truth down, lock the internet down, you know. You're not going to find the men of the Lord, okay. Starting with the elder apostles on down, and all the men out there signing and crying for all the abominations done there in. How about Yahweh Shai is going to withdraw his men? You're not going to be able to get fed and comforted, okay. All manner of hell is going to break loose. You're going to be looking for answers, crying for wine, you know. You're going to run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but you're not going to find it because you, you misused the Lord. You're, you know, you didn't take heed. You didn't seek the Lord while he may have been found. You put that day, you put the Lord off. You, you, you shoved his hand away. You see? It says, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken for want of the fruits of the field. Okay? The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. Look that word up, sodden. They cooked them, man. They stewed them down, baby, and ate them. They were, it says, they were their meat, their food, and the, and the destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord Yahweh hath accomplished his fury, because the Lord is angry, man. He's not happy with Yasharala. He's pissed, man, you know, and he's trying to warn you, but he's getting tired of warning you, okay, because he's not slack as some men count slackness, okay, you know. It says, he have poured out his fierce anger, he have kindled a fire in Zion, and it had devoured the foundations thereof. You know, that happened in the past, and it's going to happen again. Okay? Um, I'm going to close out here, and I'll close out, uh, it's like your last scripture, and I'll close out with the video. It's real short. Um, this is Amos 9 and 10. Okay? Matter of fact, you can start at 9, going back to what the elder said, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar. All the apostles to all the apostles to har on down. They said it's always sifting season. You damn right because Yahweh Bashmi Shai has been sifting Yasharala Israel from since this word came out from the from the what 1969 on. You know been sifting Yasharala, sifting the, the you know the reprobates man, the ones that aren't worthy. You know, you know and and you know but not the, the elect. None of the none of the elect have been f are, are, are lost man. Okay, you know the believers. You know, the ones predestined for salvation, Lord's will we be of that number, long as we keep enduring. But the Lord has been sifting. You know, you 1999 Israelites, you year 2000, Y2K fallouts, okay, and, and on to, to, to the present. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai been sifting, okay, you know. For lo, I will commit Amos, uh, what's this, 4? It's like Amos 9 and um, 9. For lo, mean look, I will command. And I will sift the house of Israel among all nations because Yasharala is scattered amongst all nations. Okay? You know? It says, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall, and that's a, that's a very um, rough process, man. It's not a gentle process. Look it up, man. It's a rough process. Okay? To get them kernels off of that, that, that uh, you know, the, the, the corn, the husk or whatever. You know? It's a rough process. Just as 
um, like the washing of this word, like it burnt like hyssop, man. You know, the Lord ain't gentle. He's a man of war. He's an austere man. That's why he said, gird up thy loins like a man. He will require it of thee. Count the cost, man. Man up, you know, you know, be faithful, endure hardness as a good soldier. You know, that's the requirement. Okay. You know, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in a sieve, y'all sh yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Meaning, none of the elect are gonna uh, are gonna fall away, man. Okay, the ones that fall out of this thing, they were meant to fall away. They crept in unawares. Okay, but the elect were gonna endure. We were predestined, Lord's will. You know, we be those men and those women. We keep enduring. But the two thirds, that's their lot. They 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 um. They rejected the Lord when he was on the scene. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? You know? So they're coming back in the lot. Okay? You see, the ones of you that refuse to repent and take heed and turn back. You know? And amend your ways, man. It says uh, Amos 9 and 10. This is the main point. All the sinners, not nobody's going to escape. None of the wicked shall escape. You know? You know? We had to fall, right? There had to be a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, right? We had to fall. As Yahweh Shai told Jeremiah, thou thyself shall also discontinue from thy heritage. You know, we fell, you know. You know, we had to pay. We had to drink of that cup, you know. You know, but Esau, you, you, uh, your Lamentations, 4 and 21, 22. Esau, you're going to drink of that cup. You're not going to get away, you know. And and the wicked of you, two-thirds, man. The, the ones you that said, let the blood give us Barabbas, you know. Let the blood fall upon us and our children. You're going you're gonna to eat your word. You reap what you sow. Every idle word you're going to have to give account of. Okay? So none of you going to escape. Esau, Edom, you ain't getting away. The, he, the heathens that are confederate unto you, you ain't getting away. And two-thirds of Yasharala, you wicked-ass, you know, Jake ain't getting away either. Okay? So the Lord said, all the sinners... Every one of you, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which shall say, which say the evil, this bad, t these bad times, these plagues, because they think God is all love, which is bullshit, is a lie, it's a fairy tale, you know, it's a Dr. Zeus fable, okay, you know, every day the Lord is angry with the wicked man, okay, he's pissed, you about to feel his indignation, his righteous anger, you know, at least you repent. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Okay, that's the point. Okay, and some of you gonna gonna starve, and some of you gonna you know the Lord got many many different um, calamities, uh, you know, to waiting to befall the wicked man. You know, many different. Hey, what they say? Six million ways to die. Choose one. One is yeah. You, there's one for you if you if you ain't if you ain't right with the Lord, you know. Again, Lamentations um, four and ten, four and nine. My bad, four and nine. Salakia. It says they that be they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, for these pine away stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. And again, Second Ezra, um, six and twenty two. Second Ezra 6 and 22, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. We're in these times, we're, we're in these times, man. We're at the door, we're at the door. Again, off of Reuters, um, UK Chicken King says cheap food binge is over. I don't want the Ratazah, this was edifying, like I always say, keep pushing, we're close. Shalom, wa, abad, babo. Britain's 20-year binge on cheap food is coming to an end. That's according to the country's biggest chicken producer. The owner of the Two Sisters group, known as the Chicken King, says food price inflation could hit double digits. It's due Britain's 20-year binge on cheap food is coming to an end. That's according to the country's biggest chicken producer. The owner of the Two Sisters group, known as the Chicken King, says food price inflation could hit double digits. It's due to a tidal wave of soaring costs that are crashing through the supply chain. The UK is emerging from the twin challenges of Brexit and the global health crisis. It's also... Hey, hey that's the um, Salakia, the Ten Toes, the miry clay. Part iron, part miry clay. You know, we had the, ten, we had the feet of this bitch. And Yahweh is coming to bust this motherfucker up, man. 
Call her lawyer, how about me outside? We had, we're close, man. Hey, we're close. We're close. We're close. We're close. Britain's 20 year binge on cheap food is coming to an end. That's according to the country's biggest chicken producer. The owner of the Two Sisters group, known as the Chicken King, says food price inflation could hit double digits. It's due to a tidal wave of soaring costs that are crashing through the supply chain. The UK is emerging from the twin challenges of Brexit and the global health crisis. It's also facing a shortage of truckers, butchers and warehouse workers that has exacerbated global supply chain strains. Ranjit Singh Baparan says the days when you could feed a family of four with a three pound or four dollar chicken are coming to an end. He founded Two Sisters in 1993. It sells poultry, pizza and pies and processes 10.4 million birds a week from more than 700 farms. Baparan says he doesn't think the British government can fix the problems or control inflation. He says the constriction of labour supply will lead to wage inflation and force him to invest in automation. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has repeatedly said that Britain's economy must kick its addiction to cheap imported labour. His government has denied that Brexit is responsible for the strains on the economy, though no other European nations have faced the same scale of supply chain disruption. Your pa, your pa, your pa, your pa. Wa, abad, babo.